What's up everyone for the Winitachi here, you know what it is. Uh, welcome to another BlizzCon 2018 video. Today we're going to be going over Heroes of the Storm's new hero, Orphea, who actually originated within Heroes of the Storm, unlike every other hero in uh, her past uh, in the game that basically comes from other Blizzard Entertainment games. Uh, if you guys want, we've released so much BlizzCon 2018 videos this past day, and uh, go ahead and check them out on our uh, Blizzard Entertainment playlists. We have various uh, playlists uh, for World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, Diablo, Starcraft, now even Warcraft, as well as Destiny. So go ahead and check them all out, and uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. So, Orphea, Hair of the Raven Court. Rejecting the dark power her father had begun to consort with, Orphea tried to run away from the Raven Lord's influence, but after witnessing King's Crest fall to his machinations, she was convinced she needed to stand and fight. She now vows to protect the innocent as a hero of the Nexus. Um, a couple of skins and stuff were released as well, and uh, themes basically based off of her and some in-game items. Go ahead and check out the other videos on this playlist. I'll be sure to go ahead and uh, get those released as quickly as possible. Um, next up, we've got her, uh, basically her abilities. So, uh, damage-wise, she's actually pretty damn high up there. Utility, she's about, oh, she's okay, but survivability, she's actually pretty good because she got a heal over time ability too. Not heal over time, but her abilities uh, allow her to heal through her dealing damage and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And complexity, she's kind of on the low side, but damage and survivability, that's what you want from an assassin, am I right? So... She's got some heroic abilities, primary abilities, and of course a heroic trait, which we're going to be diving on into right now. So, Shadow Waltz is her first main ability. After 0.5 seconds, deal 150 damage to enemies in a line. Hitting a hero with Shadow Waltz sets its cooldown to 2 seconds, refunds 0 mana, and causes Orphea to dash a short distance upon moving. Next up is Chomp. After 0.6 seconds, deal 285 damage to nearby enemies in front of Orphea. You got Dread. Release a wave of Dread that deals 85 damage to enemies hit. Dread erupts 0.7 seconds after reaching the end of its path, dealing 175 damage and slowing enemies in the area by 25 seconds for 2 seconds. Heroic Abilities Eternal Feast. After 1.5 seconds, deal 210 damage in an area. Eternal Feast repeats every one second as long as it hits an enemy hero. So it's a continuous heroic ability as long as someone is in there. And she does have some stunning abilities, so that's actually a really cool ability, I'm going to say. Crushing Jaws, after 1.25 seconds, pulls enemies in an area towards the center, dealing 275 damage and stunning them for 0.7 se seconds. Uh, if you guys want some crowd control, go ahead and pick up Crushing Jaws. Now, I do have a course video footage of all of these abilities, so go ahead and check out, again, the gameplay trailer for Orphea on the Heroes of the Storm playlist in our channel. But other than that, thank you very much for tuning in. Love you all. Peace.